Well, everybody, I don't think I can hide this now. It is snowing. Uh, had absolutely no plans on there being any moisture today at all. Um, not in my welding truck, sitting next here at the yard. <laughs> There's my dog like, would you let me in? Uh, I better get my coffee cup out of my feed wagon, but I was actually, somebody was commenting on an old video and uh, <laughs> just watching it and all of a sudden it's snowing. We just finished uh, branding some calves I've been buying and some cows and so I'm waiting for silage to get here, but just thought I'd come over here. Uh, got her mill set up. She's ready to go. Um, so as you can see, we're cracking it. We're not getting any any powder in there, and this is kind of hard to do with two hands. Some of them, you know, some of them like that one right there at the end of my thumbnail. It's almost kind of like steam flaking. You know, like this stuff's got a little moisture in it, uh, but it's actually cracking everything. But it's not. We're not powdering it, so that's great. Um, had like 50 plus mile an hour winds the past two days straight. Um, just a little bit north of us had 90 mile an hour gust, late semis over. So it completely destroyed all the plastic on top of our wheat pile. It didn't help that my dog, when I first put it up there, would just run up and put holes all the way through it. So, you know, that was kind of where that was. Um, but we got that set up, so since we're done branding, I'm going to start uh, rolling tomorrow after I'm done feeding. And it takes, it takes me three hours to feed, um, at least. So if, you, if you're new to the channel, this is my commodity barn. Uh, this is hay out of my roto. My roto grind. Um, I've I made a video on this bucket that nobody has seen. Oh, it is smelling like a son of a bitch now. Um, because I don't know for some reason I just didn't make it. Uh, got this for the skid steer, and it has been amazing. Uh, I should have got one size smaller because the bucket's just I mean too heavy. The skid steer will handle it, but I mean, it's maxing it out. It really is. But $2,250 for this thing, like grapple and everything. It's amazing. Get hair out of the snow for just a second. Woo. So, there we go. This is on the project list. So if you'll notice that mill on the back of that tractor, it had a tank on it. But that mill and this mill are identical. And I bought that other mill for parts for this one uh, if I ever need it. But, you know, I, I want to keep it mobile because I do, I do have another one of these barns. I do have another commodity barn. It doesn't have the dividers in it, but I do have another commodity barn. And I think I'll start buying some corn f from some friends and just putting up there and then rolling it there. And I'm gonna have to pour a concrete slab here, but I can come in here with my grain truck and dump it and then just push it into this bay. Or actually like the long term is this mill is going to be coming off this wall in a month probably maybe a month and a half sometime in march uh i'm hoping to get it going and really i don't know if i'm going to use this motor or i'm going to get another motor a, like a three-phase motor and put i'm going to put a like a vfd or a soft start i'm going to do something but I'm going to take the drive motor and turn it around and direct collar it to that. Um, and just 
direct hauler to the shaft there. And the thing about this mill is when you turn one of these motors on, like it, it's instant on. And so it, it jerks the chain on the mill when you first start it up. So that my idea is to put it directly in line with like a VFD or a soft start type deal. And so it brings this mill up slowly. And once it goes to full speed, it'll be perfect. I, I have a couple of, they're not quite semi-load bins. They're like maybe half load to one maybe a full load bin. Hopper bins. They will go right outside the door. And here's my silage truck. Well, I got completely distracted, but there goes my load of silage. But it is, it's snowing. It's snowing good. So, ah, uh, get that unloaded. I can feed some, feed some cows tomorrow. We're pulling that in two loads at a time. But what I was going to say is, we're going to put two hopper bins in here with that mill. And there's another pickup. Which they're taking off anyway. So that mill will go out here and it'll auger into that auger that goes up the wall. And then eventually I'm gonna put like a big hopper bin in here to feed into those other hopper bins. But yeah, so that's where that's at. And it's snowing like crazy. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go inside. I'm just gonna, I got some real thin cows uh, up here in my little little barn pasture. Uh, it's just a, it's a tiny little uh, trap pasture. It's 160 acres. Uh, you couldn't, if we didn't feed in there, then we, we couldn't keep hardly anything in there. But uh, it's, it's real nice because I can just run out here and feed in some troughs and You'll see that. So these cows, we're, we're starting to get some old cows and half of these cows are just uh, fall calvers that I just have them. Uh, I had them from um, a different place and never been able to get rid of them because uh, I bought them when the cattle market was really, really high. And so I just can't get rid of those cows or that you just you'd lose too much on them. Let me get up and get the gate. My damn Brahmins in the gate in the way. And uh, I got some young bulls in here. I got some bulls I bought off Facebook. Uh, 
not 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 something I like to brag about. Uh, I don't buy cattle off Facebook, but I did buy these bulls off Facebook, and uh, they're all right. You know, they're okay. I'm actually pretty happy with them. They're pretty good bulls. They're registered pulled Herefords. Uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with them. So. some way we're gonna be able to do this but the other the other cows in here are just old thin thin cows that uh just trying to get some condition back up on them and i, I just need to sell them but hell i don't know what i'm gonna do i'd probably keep them till they die i'm not silly about things sometimes Get 
I caught my I caught my shoot on the gate. Look at these girls. Now these are nice. Really nice set. Uh, there's some little small ones, but this is my new adventure I'm working on. Uh, pretty happy with it so far. Well, uh, we'll see how it turns out. These are all these are all local cattle, like nice local cattle. Uh, they're not the top top end, but they're 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 pretty local, semi-local, and uh, just something new. Trying something new. I still got little three weights in the barn, so you know I still doing my same old same old BS. Um, but these guys just uh, something I kind of wanted to work with. I don't know if they're gonna make me any money, but they're pretty at least. That's half the battle. There's old, there's my dog, but get my cows fed. I need to do that for like a day or two, but I was, I just didn't have any silage and uh, I can't feed everything I have for my ration. And so I'm waiting for the truck to haul it over here. It seems like what I'm always doing, I'm always waiting on the truck to get here. So, yeah, it's snowing good. Uh, what, it wasn't even supposed to snow either. We were, uh, we just branded some of these, and that's probably them there. We were there working on, in the chute, and uh, the sky back up to the north just getting dark, dark blue. And I was in a t-shirt for part of the day. And it, oh, it was pretty. Real pretty, and just kept getting darker and darker and I looked, looked at my dad and said, you know, it looks like it's going to snow. <laughs> and we had to, had to load a bale up for some other kids. We got it at another barn. And he's like, I think I'm going to get the hell out of here before it does snow. And it's, it's coming down, that's for sure. Pretty good for it not supposed to snow. But anyways, I've rambled on way too long, so... I'll cut this down there on the other video and just give you an idea what's going on. Uh, probably going to do the saddle shed video tonight because it just it doesn't feel right doing it when you're in a t-shirt. So we got snow, it's cold, I'll build a fire, start answering some questions.